Okay, so here we are in Final Cut, and what we're going to look at is isolating a color in a video. So I've got a video of some fishies here. I'm just going to get rid of the audio, separate that first using Command L. That separates the audio so I can delete it. Okay, and I'm just going to choose a bit of this footage here, use the blade to cut that out and just a few seconds of footage, just so we save on rendering time when we get around to it. Okay, so with that there, we're gonna to go to Effects, Video Filters. Now you will notice that I do have a lot of third-party filters in here, um, just for a whole range of reasons. But what we wanna do is Color Correction, Color Corrector. Click and drag that to the file. And this footage was shot in a 5D and it is a Creative Commons piece of footage that I got from Vimeo. So you can go there to do these sorts of things to use as you wish, I guess, within um, how people have asked you to use it. Okay, so double clicking on that, we go to Color Corrector up here in the viewer and this comes up. All right, now you see here it's got limit effect. We're gonna click that little sideways triangle there. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use the eyedropper here to select a color, this uh, color stripe on the fishies here. Now what I'm just gonna do is just go to 200% just so we can get a clearer selection here. Use the eyedropper and select the base color there. Okay, going to fit to window. All right, so you can see here that after selecting from the eyedropper that the color has come up here in the limit effect color there. Now, I'm going to drop the saturation. Da, 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 da. And this little key thing here cycles through the, uh, as you can see there, view final, matte and source. So if we go there, that's the color matte there, final, that's the original footage. Okay, so just using that for now, whatever comes up white is what's being keyed out. So I might just bring up the limit effect a bit more and we can see some of the other fish, depending on how well they're lit, changing the saturation a bit. Now for your individual project, I suggest just um, playing around with this and just seeing what you get, because really it is up to you and the footage that you do have as to how well this works. So moving that around really brings up the colors. The more solid it is, the lot better it is. So this limit effect really bringing up how much of the um, footage is affected by that. Actually come out quite a fair way if I really wanted to, but I won't do it too much. Okay, so we're just gonna click back on the key. You can see there that they, you can see where it's grayed out. Now, what we're gonna do to isolate that color is hit this little button here, okay, which is going to invert the selection. And what we can see there is the inverted color of the fishies highlighted. And hopefully when we render this out, Command R, it's not going to take too long. So less than a minute, that's nice. So really what you need to do when you're doing this sort of thing is just work with these different settings, making sure you drop the saturation and just working out what's gonna work best for you and your project. Let's watch this through. And there you go. Beautiful little fishies, all colored, all isolated. There you go. And that is how to do that in Final Cut Pro.